The year is 2019. Taylor Swift and Katy Perry have officially ended their feud. Lizzo is re-peaking in the media's attention with hits like Good As Hell suspiciously emerging again in pop culture. And at this point, we have all been forced to listen to Old Town Road at every public space for the entirety of the year thus far, as it has just broken the record for the longest number one in Billboard history. But arguably the most notable music moment to come out of 2019 was the introduction of both rap starlets DaBaby and Megan Thee Stallion. With both rappers experiencing monumental come-ups during this year due to their ability to win over the public's heart with their charisma and their catchy music, many fans and listeners had the confidence in these two up-and-coming rappers to take over the 2020 decade the same way icons such as Drake and Nicki Minaj had during the 2010 decade. Both DaBaby and Megan Thee Stallion rose to mainstream prominence around 2019 as both artists had songs rising in popularity online. DaBaby's Suj was everywhere that year, as well as Megan Thee Stallion's big ol' freak gaining traction alongside her impressive freestyles. With both rappers dominating the rap scene that year through various hit songs, fire features, and appearances everywhere, even landing spots on the XXL freshman cover for 2019, these two were deemed to be the new generation's very own Drake and Nicki Minaj, set up to dominate and take over the upcoming 2020 decade. It seemingly felt like everyone was pushing these two into stardom. Now, before y'all get in here and say something, I definitely remember people online claiming that these two were the next Drake and Nicki. I'm not saying that you personally said it, but I do remember it being a popular conversation in 2019. But as of 2024, it seems that some of the initial anticipation and hope for these two to surpass the expectations once placed upon them have died down. So what happened? So it has been about five years now since the initial Main Street come up of both DaBaby and Megan Thee Stallion, and both artists have experienced some turbulence and even damaging moments to each of their careers, leading them to where they currently are within the game. Let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. DaBaby was the first person the internet has successfully been able to cancel. Let me, let me give you a little bit of context. <laughs> so after DaBaby reached the mainstream, he dropped various albums, which performed really well at the time with both Kirk and Blame It On The Baby reaching number one spot on the Billboard 200. Things were looking promising for DaBaby until his 2021 Rolling Loud Miami performance, where DaBaby made openly homophobic and misogynistic statements. DaBaby was immediately met with mass criticism from fans, which was only made more intense after DaBaby doubled down on these statements, claiming that he was solely attempting to make a quote-unquote call to action to his fans. But it seems the final nail in the coffin of DaBaby's career was when rising superstar Dua Lipa removed DaBaby's verse in official credit on their hit song Levitating. This, on top of the response made from Dua herself, really cemented the fact that DaBaby not only fucked around, but he found out. Despite multiple attempts to apologize, DaBaby's career has never come back from his actions and words of 2021. On the other hand, Megan Thee Stallion was seemingly making a name for herself as well as carving out a clear lane for herself to strive in. From branding herself as a hot girl and capitalizing off the term hot girl summer with various brand deals and sponsorships, it seemingly felt like Megan's positive trajectory in the rap world during the early 2020s could not be hindered. With hits like Savage and WAP taking over online and breaking records for Megan as well as her debut album On The Way, 2020 really felt like it was her year to take over. This was, of course, until July of 2020, where Megan Thee Stallion was unfortunately the victim of a shootout where rapper Tory Lanez was accused of perpetrating the crime. After the event, Megan was able to continue dropping music for a while, including her debut and her sophomore album, but it felt like a lot of her music going forward was being overshadowed by the tragic event, causing her work to not perform as well as her previous work. While Megan gained many supporters during this time, she was on the bad graces of many Tory Lanez fans as well as many misogynistic rap fans as there was speculation that Megan was lying about Tory's involvement in the incident. 
After the release of Traumazine, Megan took a short break from releasing music to work on herself and fully heal from the traumatic event. Megan did not return to music until late 2023 after the trial had concluded and Lanes was ultimately found to be guilty. While Megan is getting herself back into the grind at the current moment as she's dropped various singles in preparation for her new era and album, it feels like the expectation once put onto her at the beginning of her career will seemingly take longer to achieve due to many unfortunate setbacks. Now, obviously, there were other tribulations getting the way of both of these two artists' success in the early 2020s. COVID obviously being a huge factor so early on in their careers, as many artists were unable to put out and promote music like they did prior to this pandemic. Neither of these artists got the same opportunity as their musical predecessors to promote their music or even go on tour due to the outbreak completely putting everyone's life on pause. But I'm going to be honest, I think a major reason DaBaby and Megan gained the title as the quote-unquote new Drake and Nicki was more so due to their intense chemistry on a song. Because let's be for real, these two got that title because they make bops together. I I know y'all were bumping cash shit back then. Like, these two on a track are unstoppable. It is unfortunate that these two will most likely never link up again due to personal events that took place between them. But nonetheless, I feel like the expectation of being the new quote-unquote Drake and Nicki was more so about their chemistry together the same way Drake and Nicki's chemistry is when they're on a record together. I honestly find the trope of insinuating that an upcoming artist is the quote-unquote new version of an established artist is kind of damaging and all around creates a huge expectation for the newer artist to try to live up to, and it's simply unrealistic. I feel the same way when people were calling Chloe and Haley the next Beyonce. It just sets them up for these crazy high standards at such an early stage in their career. I feel like the unneeded pressure from these crazy high expectations has the potential to leave these artists burnt and stressed out about perfecting their craft and wanting to please us fans. And sometimes it ultimately leaves us fans disappointed if they do not meet the standard that we initially gave to them in the beginning of their career. This is honestly something that I can dive into deeper another time, but in regards to DaBaby and Megan, referring to them as the quote-unquote new Drake and Nicki were extremely high expectations to put onto them such early stages in their career. Now, do not get me wrong, this is not to say that both of these two rappers are not successful Now, don't get me wrong, this is not to say that one of these rappers is not successful at this point in their career, but I personally feel to claim that they were the successors of two rap icons that early on in their career was kind of a bold statement for us to make, especially when we had no clue what their careers would bring forth, or even if that's what they wanted for themselves in their career. At the end of the day, I know at least one of these two will continue to break records and strive in her own lane without unnecessary comparisons holding her back. As for the other one, yeah, I can't help them there. (laughs) But this is all simply my subjective opinion and nothing I said was a fact. This is all simply my thoughts looking back at 2019 with my 2024 eyes and knowledge. But I would love to hear all of your guys' personal thoughts on the come up of both the baby and Megan Thee Stallion. Did you guys think they were going to be the next Drake and Nicki? Do you think either of them have the potential to still do so? Do not be afraid to sound off in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and making it this far if you have. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!